Hey guys, so as you've seen, Hurricane Ian is coming our Ian is coming our way. Um, Donald is still working, so I am out here prepping a day before the storm hits. Um, they're expecting everybody to be hunkered down by Wednesday morning at about like 9, 10 o'clock because that's when the really bad feeder bands are coming in. Um, they have it as a cat one. As of this morning, it is literally going right over our homestead, the eye of the storm. Now that could change in the next 24, 36 hours. Um, if it does, yay. <laughs> if not, we're hunkering down. We will be riding the storm out in our mobile home. Um, it's only going to be a cat one with high gusty winds, so we're not too worried, but we are prepping everything. And I'm going to show you what we've done so far. All right, this is Bonnie and Lydia's old pen. Um, before the storm was heading our way, we had cut out a passage hole and we combined almost everybody except for the call ducks and the breast chickens the american breasts but everybody's in here and our wonderful friend of ours that lives up the road gave us her other three geese so we have two females and three males plus sarge Plus baby boy. Baby boy's in here somewhere. Hi, sorry, honey. Stupid's crew is in here. All the ducks are in here. And the two leftover turkeys. Um, they have plenty of water. We got a water here. They have a huge pool. Plus two waters here. They have that huge shelter. Plus. Um, let me see if I can get an angle on it. Over where you see that the red um focus out here. the red boards those were our old ramps to the house i went ahead and i got them leaning up against our neighbor has a shed right there so we're hoping it will provide some shelter you know more shelter the gulf of mexico is this way our house faces true north so gulf of mexico is here so the winds are going to come up from the south around the east and then batter us this way um our major concern at this point in time is flooding and so right now and the winds so right now i am getting the dog houses at least into this pen and then i'm going to go through the area here get this area cleaned up for wind high winds then i'm going to go over there we got our lawnmower the wheelbarrow our gorilla cart and a couple other things on the mound because of the flooding we didn't want them to get stuck in the water i'm going to move these tools here so they're dry up drier and i'm just going to go around kind of pick up a few things so and then um we'll show you what we're doing or uh, what everything looks like as we get hunkered down. So just wish us luck. It's not our first rodeo. I've been through Katrina when I was living in Mississippi. I've also been through several other hurricanes. Um, this one kind of reminds me of Hurricane Elena back in 1990, no, 1985. It was Labor Day weekend and it was a slow moving storm that stalled out right outside of Tampa for three days and then it moved up to the panhandle so I'm just hoping this one doesn't do the same thing but we're expecting anywhere from they're saying 10 to 20 inches of rain in our area and that's a lot of water it's gonna cause problems so I'm just gonna pick up and we're gonna do our best all right so far everybody is hunkering down um donald and i just got done securing the rabbit cages um went ahead and piled into the ground got toe straps on them 
that's Buster, Amber, and then we got it going across just to prevent them from, yeah, fly, you know, prevent anything from flying off since, uh, and then my ceramas. Yeah, and they keep knocking over the thing. Yeah, I, I haven't even introduced awesome. them, anybody to the ceramas. No. Yet. No, so. But uh, everything else, we are just, um, we got, I know, I'm tripping over everything. We got everything cleaned up as best as we could. Let me close the shed. Yeah, close and lock it. Um, I've already shored up the well tank. Um, I found some rocks, so at least then if that, if that mulberry tree, if that mulberry tree starts a rocking, it's not going to rock the well. I don't know if you want to double check that. No, we need to. Um, yeah, well, remember it's straddling. Right yeah, but remember we put it to where it straddles that pipe. Yeah. And I think it's just, um, it's settled, you know, since we've last, you know, we put it in before all of this bloomed. Right. But, yeah. uh, yeah, pretty much, uh, we got things hunkered down. I'll take a walk through with you guys. I wrapped the cord around this to keep it from flying around. Okay. All right. We just have to bring in those two little plants when, uh, starts to rain but we took apart our seating area got it down i got the trash cans um secure for right now looks like yeah it looks like we're starting to get a feeder man i just got a storm warning i didn't really do much in here except for just making sure everything's secure. Yeah, I gotta kick it. Make sure you shut that, honey. Um, I'm, I may end up losing all of this. We may. It's supposed to be a wind and a rainstorm, basically. All of this so normally, well. yeah. So we may lose our red sorrel crop. Not much we can do about it. Though. Nope, nothing we can do. It, it's too early to harvest any of them. Um going into our mound area I um I did what I could I got everything low to the ground I put all those in the cart turn that upside down right, um, my did you want oh you gotta have enough um is there a lot to harvest honey we got lattice in case we need to board up the windows. I got the lawnmower here. And then that goes to the rest. I even tied, oh, I put a toe strap around that so we don't lose it. Awesome. Good so, yeah, been very busy. So really then the only thing we gotta worry about is we gotta watch the weather report tonight or this evening about five o'clock is when they're gonna do the next update. So. We'll see if we have to uh, put the lattice on the windows, but we got it ready. And these are the lattices that go onto my swing set garden. So, and all the extra bamboo I got laying there, but yeah, this is about as ready as we can be for this. We're expecting, what they say, 15 to 20 inches of rain, almost a foot of rain. Yeah. So that's going to create a lot of havoc, and I'm worried about all of our babies you know we got seedlings everywhere and i just have a bad feeling it's going to get a lot worse before it gets better huh honey yeah i'm gonna need you need an extra hand yeah. all right let me help you hold on all righty it is wednesday the day before the uh storm is hitting hurricane i or hurricane ian um Currently, they have the storm going way east of us, but we are still under a tropical storm warning. We're supposed to get the, uh, the rains, tornadoes. Um, they're predicting at least a foot of rain for us in just a few hours. So 
it's definitely going to be uh, a rainmaker. Um, we are just prepped for power outages and my youngest daughter, Laura, she is at her boyfriend's house, which is a brick home. So she's going to ride out the storm with her cat there. Me and Donald are the only ones here. Brayden is with his mother. Um, they have a, um, uh, she lives in a, uh, an apartment building, which is brick. But I noticed because we were doing all of the hurricane prepping, our bananas became ripe and I started peeling them and then I realized, oh, I need to show you guys. <laughs> um, so what we do is we just peel them and put them in a Ziploc bag and then we'll freeze them. And that's really it. So um, we're just going to be uh, just putting around the house today, maybe watching some TV, catching up on some shows until the power goes out. And then uh, Donald and I will probably play uh, dominoes or some card games. But that's what we're doing. I'm in my PJs. <laughs> We're just chilling and relaxing. Technically, the storm's supposed to hit land near um, Northport, which is south of Bradenton, near, um, I'm not sure exactly, because I don't travel down in that way that often. And um, if I can get one off, these might be not ready here. Some of this rack is still a little green. Yeah, I think your knees might not be ready. And you could tell, see how they're still a little green? And then when I go to try to pull them off, they're hard to pull off. Oh, this one's going. That one's going. There we go, this one's ripe. That's how you could tell when they're ready. It should be easy to pull these off. And this is the ice cream banana version. It's smooth. It's creamy. It's got a nice vanilla taste to it. Mm. I've missed these. Sorry. <laughs> Shouldn't talk with my mouth full. <laughs> so, like I said, we're just waiting out the storm. We're going to be putting around doing things. Uh, catching up on a few things that we've been putting off. Um, but we're just hunkering down. Oh, there goes Marshmallow. <laughs> Alrighty, so. We'll just keep you posted throughout this video. Let you know how things are. Um, so that way, uh, you guys can see what us... Um, southern or not southern um central floridians do when we have storms like this so and i just hope that it's even though it's going to be a cat four when it hits by the time it gets to our area it's supposed to be a cat one to a tropical storm um so we're just hunkering down and uh we'll just take it from there in the meantime We'll keep busy until the power goes out. Then it's going to be either napping or playing games. <laughs> All right. So next thing we're doing while we're waiting for Hurricane Ian. Uh, last night, Donald uh, harvested through his peppers because with the winds coming, we were worried that we might lose a lot of stuff especially the seedlings we are kind of worried about it but we're just going to let them sit for a day here and then i'm going to freeze these and then donald has decided to oh what'd you do with it it's right here oh it's right there i just got done rinsing it oh so donald is making homemade stick butter and you're going to put what seasoning into it we're gonna do garlic. I'm thinking garlic and rosemary. What do you think? Oh, garlic and rosemary butter? Stick butter? Yeah, why not? So, do you have a lot of rosemary left? Because yeah. um, it did not grow this year, so. 
Yeah, unfortunately. But we just took, we have some heavy whipping cream that we, um, we got a case of it from a friend. Let me drip. Get a little bit more, more water out of it. Yeah. Don't of mind those. Uh, we filled up our pitchers of water. Just in case the power goes out, we got to flush the toilets. <laughs> Because they ain't nothing worse than a stinky bathroom, huh? Mm-hmm. So that's, uh, you're going to do garlic powder this time. Yep. And you got rosemary. Where is? That's all. He's got so many. And there's even more. Down below, he's got a lazy Susan that turns. I know there's that rosemary in the purple jar. There it is right here. Um, I'm going to have to buy you some more, huh? since it didn't grow this year. Yep, yeah, I got plenty of it right now. I hate to buy it. I know, but if I can't grow it, if it doesn't grow for some reason, we may have to come up with a area just for the seeds, you know, the herbs I, that's I in the shade. I still want to get a 20-gallon aquarium or a 10-gallon aquarium and make a little aquaponic thing right here that I can just take clippings from. Hmm. Well, we'll have to discuss that later. Yes, I know. <laughs> so, it's going to be rosemary and garlic, garlic stick butter, right? This is the stick butter we're yep. making? Yeah. We, um, since we got all this heavy whipping cream, we've been making our own stick butter whenever we can. Now, how many, um, the last time we did this, how many sticks of butter did we end up with? Oh, good Lord. Like 10? Yeah, something like that. But we used a couple of those half gallon no, no, no. or quarter gallon. Things. No, we only used one, I thought. Uh-uh. We used two? Yeah, I think we used two. Okay, well, this will be another test then. Once we get done with this, we can figure out how many sticks of butter it'll make. And you make them to just like normal size that yeah, you would buy at the store. Yeah, about the normal size. Yeah. So, all right. On to the next thing. And let me show you guys outside. It's only been a few hours, so not much has changed. Uh, but it is a Cat 4 storm. It's supposed to hit near South Florida on the West Coast um, later tonight. Right? They said about... 8 p.m. Yeah. About 8 p.m. tonight. So it's moving a little bit faster. And um, we're just riding it out. All righty. So. This is what I do. You, well, you rolled it out, right? Yeah, I rolled it out and I put it like you're playing with Play-Doh. And I roll it up in this wax paper yeah and then what I do is I guesstimate it about half not exactly perfect but cut it again Look at the seasoning. And this is, this should be right about. So, one, one little carton yep. will get us four sticks. You need to reset it. We're just under a pound. And that's just, that's how we do our stick butter, huh? Yep. So Donald will keep one out because tonight we're going to be cooking one of our breast chickens as long as the power stays on. <laughs> um, and we're going to use one for the chicken. And then we're also going to make, we're going to deep fry some noodles. Yep. And then we're going to be making, what is it, a rosemary sauce dipping yes. Oh, sorry. Whew. Rosemary dipping sauce. I and that's it. Just 
I think it takes it longer to set, right? To, to mix it up to the butter yeah. and then set, so. It doesn't, it ain't that bad. I mean, it's, it's pretty easy to do. Yeah. Oh, show them the, um, what we use. It's underneath the bread up there. That's the carton, the, the heavy cream. Oh, yeah. Yeah. One of these days we'll have our own milk cow. Yeah, but that's what we were given for free, so we make what we make use out of it. Yep. Alrighty, so we're gonna put that in the fridge. Yep. And now we gotta clean up, huh? Yep. Alrighty, so we're still um, the storm's getting closer. Uh, we're just dealing with some light wind and some rain, but nothing to nothing to uh, get too excited about just yet. It's only what one o'clock. It's almost one o'clock in the afternoon, so that's um, pretty much all that's going on right now. Still, all right. Starting to get the feeder bands, but my Mexican sunflower is completely bent um and it's starting to come the tires starting to get pulled oh here comes squid it's getting we're getting some really good gusts we're trying to do our best to keep an eye on the bananas oh that banana rack is leaning honey yeah when it starts to get dark here, we're not going to be able to harvest or be outside. We've already fed the outside well, animals. Not, not yeah, no, it's not knocked over, but it's leaning across the, leaning pretty good across the car. All right. Yeah, it's right there. All right, here's the back. We're trying to let our dogs out as much as we can. Go on, Luna, outside before it really gets nasty. But, uh, yeah, you can see here it comes. Everything in the backyard's looking pretty good. And it's about five o'clock Wednesday. And uh, yeah, everything's just kind of getting whipped around now. It's okay, Koopy Coop. I know. I know. So it's supposed to be in our area tomorrow morning by 8 a.m. as a tropical storm, about 70 mile an hour winds. Um, it's still going to be south and east of us, so we're not going to be doing too bad. But uh, as it gets darker, we'll keep filming on and off every few hours to so keep you guys updated. But um, oh, it's not as bad as it was just a few moments ago. It was really whipping bad. I wonder if that one banana rack... It's still standing. Okay, so a lot of the banana trees are just... Here comes a new one. Eh, not that big. Just looks, sounds like it. But as a... Uh, we'll keep filming as best as we can, even if the power goes out. We haven't had any problems with power yet, so hopefully, knock on wood, we won't. Okay. We are outside to double check because uh, we are now, get, it's starting to get dark and we've been warned it's coming. Um, we got a little bit of flooding. That's that Mexican sunflower there. But we're going to double check the animals really quick here. Boy, this ground is really soft and squishy. That's why I'm worried about the steaks. Yeah, we're going to check on the rabbits, we're check on the animals, just to double check, make sure 
Got some branches down. All right, these guys are doing okay. I wish we could have put something right here for them, but they'll be all right. They'll, they'll get back out of the yeah. Way. Got some sticks down. How are the rabbits doing? That widow maker still hanging on. <laughs> it probably and the ducks are right underneath. I them. know. Well, it looks like everybody's okay. There's a lot of little branches down. I don't want to be under here too long, so let's check on the rabbits. Let's finish this because this is trees, and it's really windy. Um, we noticed um, Amber was nesting again. She was carrying around fur and and um, straw in her mouth, so we gave her extra bedding. Let's see. Strung all around here. Go ahead and just put it all in there. In here, I'd rather it be safe than sorry. She doesn't. Does she have any fur in there? Was there Not any? Fur? That I see. Okay, we'll just let it be. She might. Remember, pregnant women they tell us to uh, go to the hospital during a hurricane because of the pressure. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I am. Oh. Buster. Oh. It's starting to get better. I'm not standing underneath these trees. Hey, honey, it's starting to rain harder. We got a feeder band coming. All right. Is Buster okay? Yeah. All right, check the poles. They seem to be holding pretty good. Oh, here comes the rain. Yeah, it's starting to rain harder. Woo. That's cold. That's cold. Yeah. Hey, you know what? Maybe this will usher in uh, a little bit of cooler weather for us. <laughs> Woo. Oh. Oh. Yeah, let, uh, yeah, that tire is completely off the ground. It'll be all right. Do you think I should move? Yeah, well, I got no way to move my car. Yeah, just leave it. it yeah, we're just going to leave it. It's tangled up in the... That's probably the only thing saving it. <laughs> all right, let's get inside. Hi, Linda. All right, guys. It is Thursday morning. And it's just now daylight. We're outside checking everything. Looks like the big banana rack by my daughter's window came down. At least it came down on Shrek. Yeah, it snapped. Oh, it did? Did that snap right now? Oh, yeah. Flooding's not too bad. We It was a lot of rain, or I mean a lot of wind, but... There's no saving that. Okay, we'll have to, we'll harvest the rack in a little bit. Oh my bit. God, look at that. Oh no, the red sorrel. Hold on, let's see. Oh, we still got a mailbox. What is on the other side here? Oh, our sign. The sign on our thing. Oh, the red sorrel. Here, let's walk around this way before we head to the animals. At least we know it's safe over here. Oh. Well, the greenhouse held up. Loquat looks pretty beat up. Let me check if there's any damage. These trees all have been bent forward. They're not up against the house. These been, oh, my red sorrel. Honey, we may not get a crop this year. We can probably push this up and do it. Yeah, but it's probably so wet with rain. Hey, look, the cotton survived. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at all of our... Yeah. Ay, ay, ay. Peanuts look okay. Moringa looks okay. Uh, yeah, but at least it wasn't flooded like when we had with Irma. That stuff was up to our ankles, or I mean up to our knees here when we came into this pen. Remember I had to walk barefooted in here to save the chickens during Irma? Yeah. Looks like we lost those trees over there. Yeah. 
These guys look okay. Oh, just hit me. <laughs> um, all the bananas are kind of lean and funny. <clears throat> oh yeah, we lost a banana tree over here. I don't see any siding, at least on this side. Looks like your peppers took a beating. Yeah. Oh, that one, that one looks like it snapped at the base. Yeah, these guys are leaning. Be careful, there's screws in that. I don't want you poking. Yeah, your peppers don't look too, too bad. They just look beat up. I've lost a few of them. Yeah. Well, we harvested what we could. Looks like the herbs stayed. This side of the house looks good. Oh, what about this banana wreck that was over here? That's down. I see it. Yeah, we'll have to get to the rack there. It's on the ground over there. It looks like it's flooded up to the bananas in the... Oh, here comes the dust. Oh. I am not going in there, but... Boy, we lost the papaya. We lost the poke. I can't. Uh, it looks like the hog pen is still up. Here. Uh, I'm going to close. Here, can you help me here? Can you close this gate so if we let the animals out, they're not going to go into here? Doesn't sound like our road's flooded. Yeah. All right, so that's good. Ooh, under the shed's flooded. Ugh. Here, look on the back side of the house, see if we lost any more siding. No, it looks good. It looks good. That's kind of flooded. Cassava drop. Cassava. Sugar cane still holding on. This one I've got to cut back. This, this is the crepe myrtle here. Pawpaw looks good. The goji berries took a little baiting. Yeah. Um, okay, let me see here. Oh, we got a couple of little ones down over here. Oh, that rack stayed up. Yeah. Here, let's check the other side of the house before we go to the animals. This guy's kind of leaning. Did that banana rack that was on the roof come off? <laughs> no, but it looks like it. Oh, no, it did come off. I can see the, I can see the little tiny banana rack. Right there, it's just barely hanging on. Yeah, it's right at the corner. See the banana wrap wrapped up in oh, the uh, okay, I see. Okay. so yeah. My Mexican sunflower. Hold on, we gotta check the ones along the ditch too. So we're back at the front of the house. So here was what I was kind of worried about yesterday. Boy, that tire, it, it looks like that's all it came up. It's up off the ground. We're definitely going to have to park further back until we can get this fixed here. Yeah. How's, um... Hold on, I'm coming back around. All right, so this is along our ditch line. Um, yeah. Whew, that willow took a beating. Here's my jasmine. All right. Oh, we lost the papaya. We got the, oh. We, be careful of that one branch, that widow maker. 
It's still up there? Are you kidding me? She whiz. Okay. So, oh, that snapped right out of the ground, didn't it? Or no, it just came. Oh. I don't know how we're going to. Here, put this guy in front of it, honey. This barrel. Yeah, well, remember the wind's going to be still blowing until this afternoon. Look at this guy. He's stuck right into the ground. That sucker came right down. All right. How are the Saramas? They're good. Hi, guys. How are the bun buns? We'll get everybody water and food in just a minute. Let's check on Amber. Hi, guys. Oh, we got a big branch in the call ducks hanging. Barn looks okay. All right. Let me check on Buster. Hi, Buster. Is there any fur in there? No. No fur? Okay. We'll just leave it there for the next couple of days. Okay, before we go see the big crew, let's... Let me check these cages. Do you think you could grab that off the net? <laughs> these cages look good, honey. So if we got to move anybody, we got two good cages. Here, pick that up too, so... We're well, missing some chickens, it looks like. They might be inside the thing. No, we're full. Oh, we're full? Okay. I'd say just toss it, push it up over. Hold this door out. Just lean it up against the, the, yeah, we'll take care of it later. Yeah, there's the widow maker, still hanging. Here, I'll move out of the way. If you want to just, uh, there you go. We can fix the netting once, uh, once the weather calms down, because we could possibly still have more branches come down. All right, let's lock them up. We'll feed everybody here in a minute. <laughs> Hi, guys. Boy, everybody just looks wet over there. <laughs> Warm Ben looks okay. Wow, we, we lucked out on this one, didn't we? Boy, this food force here took a beating. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, that papaya survived. Hi, guys. Oh, look, your Toro has a bloom. Yeah. Look at that. I've actually got a couple Toros. Wow. Right now. Hi, guys. I'm going to let these guys out. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that. Oh, they are so muddy. You poor guys. There's that widow maker. That's just barely hanging on. I'm trying to get back in here a little bit. Looks like there's a few branches down, but in there, so they're okay. Move, hey, move those dog houses to the side so they can all just come on out. I just stuck the dog houses in here to keep them from blowing away. That's good. Come on, guys. 
Mom. Here they all come. Mom. Put that Mom. hook Mom. on this on this Mom. pole here. Yeah, yeah. Here they all come out. Come on, guys. We're, it's a little bit drier over here. Hey, stupid. Oh. That's a big gust of wind. Hi, babies. Hello. All right, Donald's feeding. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go over here. <clears throat> I hear the hawks. Oh, for Pete's sake! We got some that have uh, new leaves on them. Yeah, that's really flooded there. Looks like it's flooded up to the mulberry stand. Yeah, we might have to straighten out some of these ball berries. Flood water. This is our, this is the ditch going to the retention pond. So the retention pond didn't get too filled. That's a good thing. Oh, look at all the flowers on that vine. Uh, pole barn survived another hurricane. Hi guys. Hi babies. Hi Sarge. Oh. Yeah, we're gonna have a little bit of work for us today. Donald is on emergency call. Ugh. So, but we still have a friend's house that we have to go check on. Um, because they're out of town. Yeah, the hog pen survived. You can see it from here. So that's good. And it looks like those bananas survived. I don't see any major trees down, so that's a good thing. That's a good thing, honey. Hey, Donald. Yeah. All right. So we're going to let the uh, main flock out for the day. Um, they've been cooped up for last since Monday because of the storm. You know, all in all, we didn't do half bad, huh? No, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of happy. Yeah. I think these straps saved the rabbit hutches. Yeah. That was a good idea. Ugh. That tin, that one piece of tin on the roof. Ugh. Take that off. Yeah, well. The ceramics look good. Oh, we gotta check the rat. Okay, we gotta do the rabbit's food and water. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now.